So going to the next tab, the next tab says resizing rows and columns. Resizing rows and columns. So you'll notice column A is really wide and column B is skinny and but really tall or fat, right? Yeah. So what you want to do is you want to get your cursor in between the A and the B. So you'll notice how it switches from an arrow into uh, to a, from a cursor into a one-way arrow. Now if you're using a PC or a different browser, your cursor might look a little bit different. So when you're in between, you have to be up at the top where it says A, B, C, D, E, F, G, in between the two columns, you're actually able to click and drag and resize the column. You, got, you can't be on the cells. You have to be up just at the very top. You wanna, you're looking for that cursor to change. You've got to be really patient. Scoot up. Up here. Oh. Mm -hmm. And so you can see how you can make each of the columns wider or shorter. Okay. So then you can actually do the same thing with the rows, but you have to be all the way over on the edge, all the way over on the edge over here. So as you go in between, in between the rows, you notice that I'm able to then stretch out and make the rows fatter or skinnier. So I take this really fat row and I make it a skinny row. Okay. Now what if I wanted like a lot of this to be a certain size. I don't want to go through and do each column separately. That would be ridiculous. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to highlight multiple columns at once. Now honestly, this is super tricky if you're using a trackpad. So you got to be, click away, you got to be on the letters at the top, at the columns on the top, and you got to kind of be fast so you can highlight a whole bunch of columns at the same time. Okay? And so then you need to grab, you can resize any column, I'm going to resize here in between F and G, but I can resize in between any of the columns that I highlighted. When I let go, it'll resize all of them exactly the same. You're doing the cells. So again, you gotta be, you can't be on the cells, you gotta be all the way at the top, so you're pretty much touching the B. Oh. And then you have to drag along the top. So you notice that it's highlighting the entire columns. Yes. And then resize them. So look, I'm gonna resize this really fat. Now they all became fat. And then I resize them and they all become skinny. Oh, got it. Got it. And the same thing is for rows. So if I highlight a chunk of rows, you have to be on the edge where all the numbers are on the side, and then you got to highlight a chunk of rows. And then when I resize one row, they all resize exactly the same way. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so now another little trick is if you actually come up here to the corner, if you click on the very corner way up here in between the A and the 1, the corner, and you see how it highlights the whole thing. This is really handy if you want to format all of the cells or if you want to copy and paste one sheet to another sheet. I actually do that a lot. I like to click on the corner. So now when I do that, when I get in between any two columns, all of the columns are going to resize the same. And if I get in between any two rows, all the rows are also going to resize the same, except if they have a text in it, they'll word wrap. Mm -hmm. so, if you, so again, if I click on the corner, it highlights the entire cell. i got to be right up here. Okay, right? So if I get in between any two columns, I can make them all fatter or all skinnier in the same way. Okay. 